What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to Friday night's Late Night Agenda. The weekend officially starts now. I am going to be taking you through the latest transfer news, or should I say lack of it, surrounding Liverpool Football Club and why it looks like we may not even have some money to spend in the summer. Bear with me on that one because it will become clear what I'm talking about in a moment's time. We will have a Brighton preview coming up. That'll be out a little bit later on this evening, so do keep an eye out for it. And you know the drill by now, my friends. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section do please drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button so let's start off with what the hell am i talking about with regards to liverpool maybe not having any money to spend in the summer well james pierce has come out and said the question is what happens if fsg don't secure their investment before the summer i don't know the answer to that one at this stage i think we do james i think we all know the answer to it the same answer that we've had from every other transfer window that if they don't get that investment and if they have to use their own money we won't be seeing that money now look this isn't a dig at james pierce i'm a james pierce fan i really like james pierce i'm just using james pierce to kind of I guess give some substance to what i'm saying because this is what i've long believed this is what i've spoken about on streams fsg are tight minge bags fsg need to just disappear and i understand people are going to look at me and think i'm a ranting idiot but honestly look back over the time at liverpool football club and tell me why there is anything to suggest that liverpool football club are likely to get 200 to 250 million pound from fsg to go and spend in the summer it isn't going to happen right it's only ever happened when we sold somebody, when we brought money in. And you can say to me, Darwin, you can say to me last transfer window, still only spent about 40 or 50 million quid net because we sold Sadio Mane and other players and topped that fund up. So nothing about how FSG have operated since they've come into our football club makes me think for one minute that that money is likely to happen in the summer unless there is investment. So right now, it looks like our future depends on whether John W. Henry and Tom Werner can actually take a realistic offer for some of the football club or will they hold out because let's remember here they've seen that asset value increase by over half a billion quid in two seasons and they haven't really had to do much for it they've sat back they've allowed Jurgen Klopp and these players these players who are absolutely mentally and physically exhausted I should say to continue to grow that value for them well they sit over in Boston and do whatever it is they do because it certainly isn't showing up to Liverpool games week in and week out is it John no because you haven't got the nuts to do that sir have you so look let's move on a little bit and James Pierce added something else to say as things stand I'm not expecting any more signings before the deadline now I'm gonna say I'm relieved that that what you're relieved at it craig yes i am relieved why am i relieved because i woke up today i looked at my phone and i've seen something that i thought was a joke at first and that is liverpool being linked with sander berg mm -hmm. that's sander berg the sander berg we've been linked with for the past three four transfer windows the sander berg who's still at sheffield united still injury prone and still not good enough now there is good news the good news here, my friends, is that Todd Bowley is also apparently sniffing around. So, Todd, do your thing, mate. You know what to do. Eight-year contract, 70 million to Sheffield United. You can do it, Todd. I believe in you because I don't want him anywhere near Liverpool Football Club. It is an embarrassment that we are being linked and we are being having Sanderberg ram down our throats. That is an absolute joke. But... There is a little bit of positive news and it's believed that AS Monaco's sporting director Paul Mitchell who was seen at Anfield for the Southampton game in November is believed to be one of the front runners to replace Julian Ward at Liverpool in the summer. Now he has done some very fine work at Monaco and uh, yeah I'm not surprised to see his name linked. Let me know how you think about that in the comments section. Um, um, I'm going to just continue on with my FSG rant, to be honest with you, because during their 12 years of ownership of Liverpool Football Club, they've turned a profit on five of those 12 years. That is including a £106 million profit in one season. And again... Football clubs don't usually make profit because they're usually trying to chase the trophies, to invest in the squad. But, oh well, John W. Henry found a way to make a £106 million profit. Now, to give him a little bit of credit, 
We did reinvest some of that money back into the playing squad, but it's just not enough. It is not enough to see Jurgen Klopp having to work with a net spend of about 30 or 40 million pounds when other managers around him are spending a hell of a lot more. And like I mentioned with the James Pearce piece at the start of this video, no part of me ever believed that we were going to get 200 to 250 million pounds from FSG in the summer. I, along with James Pearce and the team's most other rational Liverpool fans, believed that the only way that was going to happen or the only way that will happen is if FSG actually sell all or some of Liverpool Football Club. So to those people out there who are still FSG in, who still hate me, Paddy, and anybody else that has the gall to actually want Liverpool to continue to push forward, I say to you, are you happy with the idea of Sander Berg coming in? Is he the solution that you dreamt of when you were looking at this Liverpool midfield? He isn't, right? You're with me so far? Good. Then maybe you can start to see why we're starting to turn the tide even more so again John W. Henry because all he gives a damn about is the bottom line and increasing the value of his asset to the detriment of the playing squad apparently because he just won't spend the money but Craig he spent money on Cody Gakpo 37 million pound yeah but that reason became apparently clear over the last 48 hours as well apparently as per Ian Doyle Liverpool only acted like we did with Diaz because United were sniffing around Gakpo and we didn't want to lose out so that forced our hand and we had to go out there and do it but he was another one that was supposed to be left till the summer so what were we going to do in january then what were we going to do while we were sitting and languishing in ninth place having already had an admittance from Klopp and the rest of the recruitment team that we grant that we need a midfielder in this market what have we done absolutely diddly squat we've sat on our hands we flirted with florian amrabat and we've absolutely just shit the bed we've got nothing we've sat there and allowed nothing to happen while chelsea spurs everybody else have been going out there trying to strengthen to put for their place in this fight in the top four fsg do not give a damn and i'm quite frankly sick of it i'm sick of it and i don't believe future spending because i can only base my viewpoint off what i've seen since they've been at the club and nothing 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 i have seen since they've been at this football club leads me to believe that they are suddenly going to free up a load of cash and if you believe that well i've got a bridge i'd like to sell you there's a few other bits and pieces that I want to talk about as well. Uh, breaking news apparently is that Arsenal, according to the ever-reliable Fabrizio Romano, are pushing to sign Moses Caicedo and have submitted a £60 million offer. Connor then, on our Twitter account, put in, could this spring Liverpool into action? Come on, Connor. You don't even believe that, mate. The only thing that is going to spring John W. Henry into action is a little blue pill, and we all know what I mean by that one. It's embarrassing. It's a joke. It is pathetic, but it is where we are right now. So again, I would urge everybody to please be vocal in your displeasure at how FSG are running the football club, because unless you want the Europa Nights and Thursday Nights or whoever that song goes, that is what we're facing down the barrel of, my friends. And that's actually probably a best case scenario, the way things are currently looking. So again, with four days to go in the window, we still have a chance please for the love of god spend some money on a midfielder because we need one and when i say a midfielder i don't mean enter sanderman i mean absolutely go out there and buy a top quality midfielder to give klopp the tools that he needs that is it for me and this one my friends let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will be back a little bit later on with a brighton preview much love enjoy your weekend talk to you soon Bye bye